Hey, what's going on guys? Um, just want to do a little highlight video on my 2017 FT50. Um, it's been a long build, an expensive build, and uh, I wanted to kind of walk through it with everyone, just to, so everyone knows the parts that are on it, uh, how much money has been put into it, and kind of how long it took to build and everything. But a little recap, so got into December of 2017, and then uh, I was stationed overseas at the time, so uh, didn't drive it uh, when I was stock. I actually sent it straight to Kelderman out of, out of Iowa. And they kind of just straight up tore it down right when they got it. Um, I told them, uh, me and Casey over there, we, we worked out kind of what I wanted um, pretty much from bumper to bumper. Everything that was on the truck was kind of changed in some way. So the lift, we did the Kelderman lift. Um, I went with the six to eight inch because uh, I knew I wanted 37s so or 38s with a pretty wide stance. Um, so I figured that was to be the best lift to get while also not being like terribly huge because I didn't really plan on running 40s or anything because um, I had that on my Jeep. But the, the front lift is a four link and the rear lift is also four link, but um, the front was $3,895 and the rear is $3,495. Um, it was painted black because um, I didn't really feel like going with any flashy colors at the time. Um, and that's paired with the Airlift uh, 3H elect electronic air control system uh, with the compressors and everything like that. Um, the shocks uh, that were installed originally were Fox shocks um, with the, the remote uh, reservoir. Um, I thought they rode pretty rough um, considering it's an airbag suspension. I've always heard those ride really nice and I just felt like I wasn't satisfied with the ride I was getting. So. Um, I tried to tough it out for like a year, um, a year and a half, and uh, I just still wasn't satisfied. I went back and forth with Casey trying to figure out the best way to go forward. Um, I mean, he told me that the Fox shocks ran a little rough anyways, and um, I don't know, I just wasn't happy with it. So we talked back and forth, and we, um, well, he let me know that they actually teamed up with the um, company uh, Raptor Performance Shocks, and um, they specially tuned them and everything for our trucks with the, with the um, color mint suspension. So uh, spent another two thousand dollars on those on top of what I already spent for the lift. And um, I do have to admit that they do ride a lot better. So um, I can't say for sure if it was money well spent because two thousand dollars, which is five hundred dollars a shock. I don't I don't know. I feel like it should have rode like that from the get go, considering the price of the kit. But um, I'm happy with the ride now, so I can't complain. So wheel and tire setup. I have um, specialty forge. Uh, they are forge wheels, but they're um, it's the concave series. So it's the C702. Um, at the time, their MSRP was $2,300 a wheel. So times four, you're looking at $9,200. Um, I know it's crazy expensive, but it was the design I wanted and the size, and I wanted a forge wheel and um, just had to spend the money for it. So pair that up with a uh, Nitto Trail Grappler 38 by 13 and a half. Um, I love Nitto. Uh, I ran them on pretty much all of my trucks so far. Uh, I had the Mud Grapplers in the past, wanted something a little bit less aggressive because I didn't, uh, I wanted to ride nice, but I also didn't want it to be super loud. I include the tire sensors and uh, mounting and balancing. You're, at, you're looking at another about $400 for, for that. For the hitch setup, I went with the Gen Y hitch. Uh, they just looked awesome, and I've, I've seen a lot of people running them, and they seem that they've had no issues, so I figured I'd give it a try. Um, it's the, the one with the nine inch drop, and that ran $370. For bumpers, I went with the Bodyguard bumpers. Uh, I think hands down, they're the nicest looking bumpers for the Super Duty. I mean, really for any truck, I, I don't know what company even comes close uh, right now. Um, they, they ship out in a, loom, or a raw uh, finish, so we uh, painted them uh, paint to match, so the white and black with the rest of the truck. Um, I don't have the price on this invoice, so I'm gonna try to find it and throw it up on the screen. Kelderman had bumpers at the time. They were seeing if I was interested. I just, they look a little bit too bulky for me, so I decided to go with Bodyguard, because they're sleek and they're just, they just look really nice. Uh, I'm also running Rock Lights by Rigid Industries. Uh, also not on the invoice, but I'll throw the price on the screen. I have the Horn Blasters Shocker XL train horn kit. Things super loud. Um, I just feel like you kind of have to pair one up with the with the Super Duty or any diesel truck that's lifted because it just doesn't make sense. The the normal horn that's on there is definitely not loud enough for for, for the big trucks. I don't. It doesn't make sense. But um, 
Love the kit, $325 for that. The next thing is the differential cover. I went with the Mag High Tech Black Machine um, diff cover. Love it. Um, I, I know there's like the banks, the video and everything on how the flat ones don't circulate the oil enough or whatever, but um, haven't had any issues with overheating or anything, so I don't really care about that. Um, that ran $275 for that. The lug nuts um, for the for the wheels have the white spike lug nuts. Those I needed 32 of those. Um, those ran $560. So Kellerman doesn't do exhaust themselves, but um, they they always reach out with a local company. So I had uh, some uh, straight pipe exhaust, a Flow Pro five inch, um, and some tuning done uh, from a local company, and that was um, with installation. Um, that was. $3,060 for that. Headlights, tail lights, and third brake light were all custom done. Um, I, they I had the factory ones uh, painted uh, black pretty much for all of it. I uh, love black. Black and white uh, was obviously the theme of the build, but um, that, they sent it. They always work with EcoTint. Uh, I, I think they're out of Utah, but I could be wrong. In addition, I have everything that was chrome in the truck painted white and black. I say that's it. Uh, that, that's all the major stuff. Uh, I mean, I know there's quite a bit of stuff on the truck, but so I'm gonna add everything up, kind of put the total like right here and um, let you guys know how much I spent, including the truck. And I don't remember if I talked about it, but uh, the truck was sticker, I think 74, 75, um, and I paid 71, including taxes for it. So uh, not a crazy deal, but uh, I mean, I definitely, I mean, I'm happy you got under sticker, so that works out. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment or direct message me on my social media pages. Uh, they'll be in the description below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.